Hello everyone, today's tutorial is on the Evi wallet. This wallet is an envelope style with a snap. When you open it, it will have three card slots, a zipper pocket, and a slip pocket behind that. This is one of my very favorite wallets because you can do so many fun things with it. You see here I have um, all my fun cork prints with these, um, but you can do that with like a plain outside. And then when you open it up, you can have your fun print on the inside if you want to keep that a little more hidden, but still have something fun. You can do so many different colors with it. This one is my very favorite and I will have kits with this. This is my watermelon print. And then you open it up and you have the inside of the watermelon in there. Um, so you can do so many things with this wallet. Um, it is one of my older patterns. I am finally getting a tutorial out for it and I'm also updating the um, pattern itself with better pictures now that I've gotten better at that. And um, it's going to have SG SVG files for the um, wallet pieces. So. Let's go ahead and get started. You're going to have three pieces with this wallet. You're going to have an exterior, an interior, and your pocket piece. I went ahead and used my fun print for the exterior. Um, and this is going to be my interior piece here, and this one is my pocket. Go ahead and get those all cut out. If you are using the SVG file, you can cut all your pieces with that and they're going to look a little different. So this will be your exterior and your interior and your pocket piece and you're already going to have all your cuts in there if you're using the SVG and a cutting machine or a laser to cut your pieces. So we'll go through all that. If you do this it saves you a lot of measuring but if you don't have something that will cut um, your templates for you it's very easy to do it this way as well. So we're going to start first with our pocket piece. And we'll, I want you to turn it over to the wrong side. And I went ahead and drew my zipper box on here. But you're going to use the measurements in your pattern. Measure in the larger distance from the seven and a half or seven and a quarter inch sides measure in draw your zipper box on and go ahead and cut your zipper box so that it looks like this once you have your zipper box cut out or if you use the template and already had it cut you're going to get your zipper here and i want you to add some double-sided tape to the edges. This will help hold the zipper in place while you sew it into your zipper box. Now this zipper pocket um, is not lined. Um, you're going to just leave it unlined. If you want to line it, that's fine. Um, since I use cork, I feel fine not worrying about that step. All right, so get your zipper. I am using a um, size three zipper. You can use a size five. Um, it's just slightly bulkier once it's folded. Um, I like the look of the three better, but um, actually for my other one I'm doing, I'm going to be using a five size zipper because it was the color I wanted and the size I had. So anyway, let's get the zipper box in. Um, go ahead and just take one piece of tape off. Line your zipper up. I like to feel on my edges here to see if I've got it centered. And then you want to make sure your zipper is centered in your box. Press that down. Then go ahead and take 
the other piece of backing off and press the other side of your zipper down. Now we're going to take it over to the sewing machine. We're going to sew around the zipper box. Go ahead and leave a long tail at the beginning at the end and then pull your tails through to the back side and tie them off to have a nice clean stitch line. So I'm going to leave a long tail and we're just going to sew around the zipper box. So I have my long tails. I'm going to pull those through to the opposite side and tie them off. And then we'll set this aside for our next step. Our zipper is sewn into our zipper pocket and our pocket is prepped. So we're going to set that to the side and we're going to move on to our main panel assembly. So your main panel is either going to look like this rectangle or if you've already cut it out on a template, it's going to look like this. If you had the template cut, some of these steps are already done for you, but I'm going to go through them. So just skip over the ones that are already done for you. To prep your main panel, let's turn it over and you're going to take the pocket template that is um, in your pattern and put it, if you have a top or a bottom, it will be at the bottom of your exterior piece here. And then we'll just trace our scallop edges here for our card pockets. And then you also want to make sure to mark your zipper place, or your, sorry, your snap placement. Then go ahead and cut your scallops. And you're also going to want to um, punch the hole for your snap. If you had your template cut for you, you're already going to have your scallops and your holes punched. All right, now go ahead and turn it back to the right side. And we're going to mark where we're going to sew our card pockets. Okay, so you're going to go follow the measurements in your pattern and you're going to measure over from each long edge of your exterior two and a half inches and then you're going to draw a two inch line from the top of where your scallops are down two inches on both sides of your exterior. And this is going to be where in a few steps we're going to be sewing to make our card pockets. So you're going to need to do this if you started with a rectangle or if you started with your template cut for you for your exterior. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it on my other one as well. And you'll actually be able to see it a little better since I'm using white and this is a black cork.
Okay. We've got our lines marked. We're going to leave those for the next, for a step down a few later from now. Um, and now we need to put our male snaps on. I just realized as I'm saying this, I think in the pattern I have you put the snap on before you mark the lines, but it's all the same. So if you haven't put your snap on yet, go put your snap on and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we have our snaps in place. We have our card pocket, card pocket lines drawn. We're gonna continue with our main panel assembly. Um, go ahead and turn your exterior piece to the wrong side. I'm gonna have two here so you can see um, what you do if you started with your rectangle or if you started with actual already cut templates. Um, turn, this is going to be your top, this is going to be your flap. So go ahead and turn that over and you're going to take your um, interior piece and you're going to put it wrong sides together with your exterior. I like to use just a little bit of fabric glue for this step to help hold it in place so it's nice and secure. You don't have to use much. In fact, I would say don't use too much because you don't want it stuck um, as you start folding things. You want it to be able to move a little bit. So you just use a small amount to kind of help hold it in place. So get that all lined up on the edges your interior is shorter than your exterior. So get that pressed down. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on my other wallet piece. You just want to make sure you line this up one, this one up really well so you don't have to do any trimming later on. Okay, that's my snap scraping here, sorry. Once you have your exterior and your interior glued together, you're going to go over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew just along this bottom edge of the interior piece. Um, this will help keep everything put together for you. So we'll go over to the sewing machine. So just along this interior piece, I again like to leave long tails at the beginning of the end and then I pull them through to the interior side and tie them off. We're gonna sew along the bottom here, leaving long tails at the beginning of the end. Now, if you already have your templates cut on a laser or a cutting machine, you're good to go. Um, if not, you're going to have to do a few measurements. First thing you want to measure is for your um, snap placement. I already pre-measured this and um, marked them off camera, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here for you. So you can see my marks a little bit better. So right here I have my snap placement mark. You're going to measure down and in the distance that it tells you in the pattern. I'll make that a little bit darker for you. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure for your um, envelope edge. So Again, I've already measured. I have my marks here and here for my side, and then you're going to measure in this way the um, distance it tells you in the pattern, and you're gonna place your marks here. What we're gonna do next is grab my ruler, and 
your side mark and your top mark. You're going to cut this triangle piece off on both sides. I don't have my cutting mat over here, um, so I'm going to go off camera real quick and make those cuts, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've cut off our top triangles to make our envelope edge. So we don't need those anymore. Now we are at the same point for everybody, whether you started with your templates pre-cut or whether you started with rectangles. So I'm gonna take this one out of the way and we're not gonna look at that one until the end again. Um, and we're just gonna work with one wallet. So that was the end of our main panel assembly. We are now going to move on to our final assembly. I told you this was fast. Okay, go ahead and get that pocket you prepped earlier and I want you to fold it in half so that the zipper will close in the direction you want. So this is the front of the pocket and the back of the pocket. Fold that in half, line it up well, and clip it here at the very top. Okay. Next, take your main panel here. You're gonna line the bottom of your wallet up with this bottom edge of that interior piece. And go ahead and clip those two pieces together again, just at the top of the pocket. Next, you are going to take your scalloped card pocket section. You're gonna flip it up so that it folds over the bottom of the zipper panel or the zipper folds over the bottom of the zipper pocket. And it's nice and neat. Okay, so this is where I want you to listen and watch. I want you to clip this pocket section only to the front side of your pocket. So go and separate that front side of your pocket and only clip that section to the front side of your pocket. So make sure it's folded where it needs to be tight against the bottom of the pocket on each side and only clip it to the front half of your pocket. So you see that's separated there. This is my main panel. Here we go. This is my main panel. This is the back of the zipper pocket. I just want you to clip to the front of the zipper pocket. Now for the magic. Unclip your main panel in the zipper pocket and I want you to flip everything open so that your card pocket sits just attached to the front part of your zipper pocket. What we're going to do is we're going to sew our dividers for our card pocket. So I'm gonna, those lines that you drew a few steps ago, I want you to take and I want you just to sew straight down that line ending where your line ends, which is why I had you draw it at two inches so that you would have the same length. So on both sides, let's go to the sewing machine. We're just gonna go straight down those two lines we drew earlier. For this, I do like to back stitch at the beginning and the end. Um, since we're putting cards in and out of this, I want it to be nice and secure. So you're gonna start right at the top um, with your first stitch going into the zipper pocket and then sew down until you reach the end of that line you drew.
Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other pocket line. Okay, we've got our pocket dividers sewn. Go ahead and clip your threads on that. Now I want you to turn this over to the interior side with your pocket on the wrong side. And I want you to take your pocket and fold it back in half. And now just clip it all together. Once you have your pocket folded back in half, what you're going to do is you're going to flip so you can get to just the bottom of your pocket. And I want you to sew the bottom of your pocket closed. So just fold right there where your exterior and interior meet so that your pocket bottom is exposed. And let's go to the sewing machine. We're just gonna sew right across the bottom of our pocket. This is going to be hidden so you can backstitch at the beginning and the end. We've sewn across the bottom of our pocket. Now we need to flip that back up so that it folds right at the bottom of your pocket and your interior piece. Go ahead and clip everything to the back. This time get everything in there. Make sure all your edges are in line, that your fold is even and straight at the bottom. Now we're gonna go over and make our final stitches. I want you to start at the bottom. You're going to go up around your envelope top and back down to the bottom. Don't sew across your bottom fold, only sew your raw edges. Um, I like to start just about um, an eighth of an inch above the fold because if you look at the stitching we did on the back, if you can see it, I actually like to start kind of where this stitching ends on each side. And that just makes a nice back, makes a nice backing, the, the back nice and clean if your stitching can kind of line up here on the back side. And as I was looking at that, I noticed that this is not quite the same. There we go. Okay, so take it over the machine, sew around those raw edges, and then we're almost there, guys. In case I didn't say this earlier, go ahead and leave a long tail here um, instead of back stitching, and then tie it off to secure it. Okay, there we have it. We sewed around the edge of our wallet. Our last step is to add the snap to our envelope flap. So go ahead and punch that hole if you need to and go add the female portion of your snap. And then we will see our finished wallet. 
All right, we have added our snap. The last thing to do if you need to is to trim up any overhang that you have to get your edges nice and even. And if you want to round the corners on your envelope flap, go ahead and do that. And your Evie wallet is complete. Here is the other one that I had as an example where I cut the templates on my laser. So whichever way you decide to do yours, enjoy them. And thanks for joining me today.